guest is more than just the subject of a hit feature film. She wrote the memoir on which it's based. It's called Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. It's coming to DVD. Kim Barker is with us right now. Hi, Kim. Good morning. Hi. Thanks very much for having me on, Eden. Well, thank you for being here. And the movie uh, is based on the book, which I, some people may or may not have known. But I have to ask you, first of all, was the movie close to the book that you wrote? Or, or were there some liberties taken? Or how'd that go? Oh, there are a million liberties taken. I mean, this is Hollywood, right? Uh, you know, in real life, I'm a print journalist. Uh, Tina's character is a TV journalist. Um, in real life, I'm kind of more of a chicken, and I run away from explosions, and I uh, tend to listen when the military or my translator tells me to do something because I value my life in theirs. Mm -hmm. um, and in the movie, you know, Tina's character is just way braver than I am in real life. But... Despite all these, like, I can sit there and like say this and this and this and this. What matters to me is the truthiness of the movie. And I feel like that the movie does follow the narrative arc of my book pretty faithfully about like a naive uh, new foreign correspondent lo learning the ropes, uh, getting increasingly disillusioned with everything she's seeing, and uh, having the main relationship in the movie be the same as the one in the book, which is uh, uh, more of a platonic friendship, a working relationship between um, you know myself and and uh, my translator, uh, Farouk, in real life, and uh, Fahim in the movie. So I was happy when you, with it. Good. Glad to hear that. So when you wrote the book, I'm sure there were some things you wanted to have brought to the light. And I guess what you're saying is the movie did at least accomplish that. And then, of course, entertain. Yeah, well, I also wrote the book because I was trying to come up with a way to get people to read about Afghanistan and Pakistan. I was incredibly upset with the direction of these countries I had grown to love after being there for five years. Um, very upset with the direction of wh where I saw the countries going. Very upset with the cutbacks in journalism and the reductions in foreign, corris for foreign correspondence. So I did what like uh, I tend to do with things. Is I tried to see if I could somehow turn that into dark humor. Um, and I felt like through a book that was funny, maybe, and more entertaining, I could get more people to read about uh, this region that I loved and, and maybe care a little bit about journalism, hopefully. Does it, does it appear that any change will come from some of the truths that you brought forward? Oh, no. I mean, like, oh. all I care about is, uh, you know, I would love that there would be change, but, like, it's really hard to change a direction of a country. And I think that, like, with journalism, what you can do is spotlight what's going on. And so what I've been able to do, in large part because of the movie and because of the attention that's bought on the book, is talk about where we are at in Afghanistan and the fact that, like, you know, it was our longest war. We still have troops over there. And you never really hear about it any anymore. And it's not like things are going in, in, in a great direction. Direction. So I get to talk about that and I get to bring that up and, um, you know, I get people reading the book and then they ask me questions and, uh, you know, that's something. It's something to at least have some attention on it. Sure, sure. And then I, I imagine Tina Fey chose you or you chose Tina Fey or was it a mutual agreement there? I mean, I would, I would choose Tina Fey any day of the week, right? You know, I was thrilled when uh, she decided to, that she wanted to play me in a movie. But it's really because of the New York Times review of the book where Michiko Kakatani had said that I had created a Tina Fey character. So I feel like the New York Times kind of cast the movie. Um, and, you know, that, that brought it to Tina's attention. And then she read it. So, um, you know, and then we went from there. Awesome. Congratulations on everything and all of your success. We really appreciate you being with with us this morning, Kim. Thank you.